and I want to talk now about the Millennium Dome project, the Treasury project, mm -hmm. uh, Airbus, the mm -hmm. Airbus project, and then also the Macallan Distillery, which I've grouped them together because I think they're quite similar type of project. They were commissioned mm -hmm. uh, commercially or mm -hmm. uh, as a sort of commercial project. But you approach the work uh, in some way, not commercial way. You approach it uh, in a very sort of artistic way. Can I say that? Or not? Yeah, you can. <laughs> well, I'm not uh, an architectural photographer. I don't know, yeah, I don't right, know how yeah. a building stands up. I mean, you know, that's a stupid thing to say, but I mean, it, I, you know, to put it bluntly, I suppose, that's, that's where I'm coming from. I, am not, I don't, you know, I go out of my way to remain quite naive about these things. Hmm. Um, yeah, that all started when, uh, you know, during the shipping forecast, I was looking at this other kind of work, you know, from Germany and uh, America. And, um, and like a lot of photographers towards the end of the 90s, I was looking for a project, something to do with the millennium. Uh, it's a long story, but I ended up trying to get access to the Millennium Dome site and being turned down. So I was bombarding them with photocopies, as it was then, yeah. of 19th century building projects, because in the 19th century it was quite typical of for recording. a photographer to record a build, one photographer to record a great public building being built from beginning to end, and then they'd make these albums, you know, very sought after by book collectors now. And, um, and I just wore them down in the end. I think I asked, you know, four or five times, you know, they're packets of this stuff. <laughs> arriving and, it, and then and then they, in the end they just said okay you can come in but we can only let you in if we pay you to come in which I wasn't expecting because I didn't know you could get paid for doing something you wanted to do but the alarm bells went off in my mind and I think this is a really important point uh, to make is that I said straight away and I you know I'm not the most pushy of people so I was quite surprised I I had the gall to do this but to go to the new millennium experience company and say, I'll accept your money, thank you very much, but I do not want to be the photographer who's there to photograph Tony Blair Dream coming straight. to, yeah, or Someone Tony or Blair meeting the architect, yeah, you know, yeah. shaking hands, mm, I'm not interested mm. in any, you can do all, I'm not even interested in doing architectural pictures, I want to use the building site as an inspiration to make work inspired by it, so it's inspired yeah. by the building, not about the building, and there's a subtle difference there, I think. And they, amazingly, they agreed to that. So I, I, I treat my, those kind of work, those kind of long-term commissions, because they all are long-term. Airbus lasted three years. Um, uh, the Dome was three years long as well. Mm. You know, that I, I treat these as, as important to, as, as that to me, they're as important as any work that I make myself. And indeed, uh, because I'm allowed to do what I want. That's the position mm. that I negotiate always. And, you know, we make, you know, I've made, I made an artist book about the Treasury Project. We made a book about the Dome, which is my edit. Um, mm. and, and entirely, you know, so they're books I'm very proud of. And, and uh, I've recently been looking at a, doing a, a book which brings together 21 years of working in the construction industry uh, of, of the best of that work from all sorts of things, from day jobs in a w watch factory to, to the Airbus three-year commission mm. for the A380, and taking everything out of context and making a sort of a visual sequence of maybe 400 pictures. Not to get myself new work, it's not to say, hey, look how good I am at doing this kind of thing. It's actually to celebrate the fact that one can make interesting work within a context of commercial photography, if you like. Because when, when all this was put together, I, I worked with Stuart Smith on this, and we worked together on this edit and sequence, and I was looking at all the pictures, and I think, suddenly realised that I'd been actually been paid to take every single one. Yeah, Mark, I think this is very interesting, what you say, because uh, most of the time when, we, when I talk to photographers, or even young photographers, um, there's always this sort of almost the sort of um, uh, fear to... to Kind of quiet. Or, or they're trying to differentiate uh, very much between their commercial work and their, their personal project, etc. But you managed to actually combine the two together with a very strong artistic integrity through it. 
Yeah, well, yeah, but I, I, I mean, I have been very lucky, you know, and I think that the, the Magnum connection now has, has obviously helped with that. But, you know, this is all about trust. It's about the, the, the client, if you like, um, believing in or trusting in your authorship. And there's something that Steve Jobs once said, which has been a kind of mantra for me ever since. When he was discussing uh, the iPhone, he said, you know, I'm not interested in what the public I'm not interested in surveys in the, you know, for, amongst the public because the public don't know what they want. I give the public what they want. So that is an idea because we couldn't have imagined the mm. iPhone. We couldn't have said we want one of these things. So it was presented to us. And I think that with this kind of commercial work that if, I, you know, I don't tell an architect how to design a building or, a, a, you know, a, a builder to how to make a wall, but um, and I think the trust has to come the other way as well. So, you know, I think I, photographers are in a position to be able to give a client something that they didn't know they wanted, if of you like. Yeah, so yeah. when, with it some of these sense. construction projects that I've done, they've, en they've ended up being quite big museum shows. You know, the, exhibit, the dome exhibition toured all the way around, all around South America in big museums. So if you think about it, that's, that's really getting the work out to a whole new audience that the new millennium experience couldn't possibly have imagined.